subscribe for my channel amol ujagre and hit the bell icon for latest update hello friends uh, my name is amol ujagre and you are watching me on my youtube channel and today i am going to uh, discuss with you about ui testing in selenium right uh, and very specific thing in ui testing so in ui testing you have several approaches but one of the approach is to check on a given web page you have different different web elements right so uh, the web element could be like different different uh, text boxes then uh, labels buttons links right so i have a page in front of me it is a login page so in short what ui testing will be uh, here we will not check any functionality here we will just check the user interface right so in the user interface of this login page we, we will check uh, all the web elements which were expected to be there on this web page are present or not username and password text box should be there we will check whether it is there or not login button should be there we will check whether it is there or not then uh, this is a forgot password link it should be there we will check whether it is there or not these are the labels we will check the labels are they present on the web page or not then we have the text this text is visible here so as this is a email text box it, it must have email written inside it. as this is a password text box it must have password written inside it right and then next very important thing is that this is the button is and it is having a color blue so if uh, it is having this blue color or not right so this is how we check or this is what we check in the ui testing that is user interface testing now in this video specifically i am going to tell you or i am going to demonstrate you uh, how to check how to check or how to test whether a given web element having a specific color using selenium right so here i have a button having a color as blue if you understand quite um, html then you might know that in order to have such a blue color for this button i must have written something in html code or in css code so its color is blue so we will check in this code i am selecting this element input type submit name button it has a class button button block button primary so there must be something defined in these classes in order that this button is getting a color blue right so here we can see this is a chrome browser we can see uh, input button button primary this is a this is a css right so here uh, we can see that background color, color is having this value this is a hex value right so because of which it is looking blue so in order to verify we can go to color picker on google right this is color picker if i put the hex value over here you can see this so it is having the same color. so its css property is background color right so i can get the css property value if i find this element and say get css value and pass the css element it is background color right so let us see how to do this so in short i'll explain i am opening a browser i am opening a website and uh, this is my expected 
my objective for this test is to check uh, whether the button login is having a color blue or not right so and as I can see that uh, its CSS value is background color now uh, let's find that web element um, web element button login is equal to um, driver dot find element by dot uh, let us see how I can say it has a name so I am finding it by name um, I am taking a string say color is equal to ptn login dot get css value so what kind of css value uh, here I have a property background color so this property I will check so background color just for a curiosity let us see uh, what we are getting so system dot out dot print ln color see you can see here it has printed RGBA uh, it might be the equivalent value of uh, this color or this uh, hexadecimal value but uh, here it is uh, quite difficult to compare this value with this so uh, as we can see this value is in RGB format so we must convert it into hex value right this is a hex value format so in order to do that uh, we have a function so I will create one more string string um, say hex color is equal to color See, you can see different different colors one is from AWT one is from selenium so it's better to use the color from selenium so color dot for st from string and you pass the string that is color right if you are getting confused uh, let's uh, give some another name uh, Ptn color in order to avoid the confusion dot as hex. So this is a simple line uh, which is converting the RGB value into hex. Color dot from string pass the string and as hex. So now uh, let's see. color C the output has come hash 337 AB7 right so this is the RGB equivalent this is the hex equivalent of this RGB value and which is same as that of our expected right uh, you can say that this is um, hex color is nothing but your expected actual is hex color and assert dot assert 
equals actual comma expected. In this way you can test the color of a particular element. I will take one more example. Uh, here uh, we used a CSS property background color. Um, it is also having a color FFFF. We will go, I will log into it. Um, we have different, different colors for different, different texts. Okay, here you can see uh, different, different colors. So I will check for now. I am counting this and I will be writing a code to log in. So So this is the code for login and now I am logging in, in after login I can see this and this is my expected color right so this would be my string expected So this is my expected, this is my objective of this test, to check the text value for the view in the left is orange or not, right. Here it is also view, but I have found the X path very clearly. Right, so this is the expert I will be using. So, web element say LVL value is equal to driver dot find element y dot x. Path. So this is the X path. Uh, let's get the CSS value. So string RGB color is equal to LVL viewed dot get. CSS value property name. So, what is the property name for this color? It is color. Last time it was background color, now it is color. Right? You can see the commented code, it was background color, now it is color. Right? We can uh, print color RG. Let's see what is the RGB value. So, that's how it RGB color so here we can see the RGB value has come over here now we will convert it into hex value so using string and say actual hex color is equal to color dot from string rgb color dot as x so let's test out this 
actual color hex so this is our expected color see uh, this is our actual color which is same as our expected color mm, so if you want you can uh, use assert dot assert equals actual hex color expected color right so this is how you can do the ui testing for checking the color of your particular web element label or text or whatever fine so i hope with the help of this video you might have got a good knowledge of ui testing about how to check colors using selenium so if you like this video please click the like button below this video and if you are still not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe if you are in a pune and you want to learn selenium with me you can call on this number and learn to know about the selenium schedule selenium training schedule and then you can come to my place and learn selenium with me thank you very much